So today we're going to talk about a couple of updates lying around the internet that has to do with Blender. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of news updates that is coming to Blender. So the reason why we're doing this is there's just a lot of tiny, tiny news here and there. And I just kind of figure out that it makes sense to put everything together so I can share them with you. So we're going to start out with the very first one here. Now, the first one here is Coffee Run. So Coffee Run by default actually started out as a very very simple test so there is this model that has been going all over the internet and it has to do with the rain character rig that was developed by the guys at the blender animation studio so within the time they were performing a couple of animation tests with this particular rig just to you know validate the functionalities also push the boundaries of what blender can do one of blender animation studio artists known as jalti came across an idea which he kind of tested so what he did was play with the rain character and hit a couple of obstacles and just as at that point there was a huge inspiration of creating an animation shot from there and that is how the idea of the brand new coffee run you know 2d scroller inspired animation shot was born and he pitched this to the other artist and i think the whole animation studio kind of bought this idea and they've been working on this for a while now so if you simply come over to this page which i'm going to put in the description you would see that this is set to week eight which simply means that they've been working on this for a while now before they actually went ahead to make it public and you can see that they have a couple of breakdown like breakdown video of how the shaders work and at the same time if you want to check out how the shading the transition all of these things you can also check them here and also if you have a blender cloud account you would be able to actually you know go through and play these things and see them so the props are looking already finished and there is also a couple of things that we can find here i don't really know what the storyline looks like right now but if you take a look at all of this there is some sort of you know idea that can be born out of this like right now i'm beginning to see the image more like a very simple lady that is running through life and things are just happening around her and from the way this looks it looks like it's going to be one of those endless runner games where you get to see you know different things happening as the character kind of scrolls across the scene so from here you can see on the board here we do have a hospital we do have you know a crazy cat lady there's a wedding there's a funeral at the same time we can see church cemetery and some coffee shop uh, breakups and all that stuff so i think this is going to be centered around the rain character and probably her life or maybe it's going to be uh she running through life and at the same time life happening to her right now i have no concrete idea of what the story would look like but then you know just simply taking peeks from what we can see here we can see that there is a breakup scene here there is a funeral scene here probably you know she gave back to a baby or maybe the other character kind of gives back to a baby there is a pregnant character here which simply means that probably there is going to be a dude that will get married to this lady and maybe they're going to harness and get a baby and you know things might just simply move on from there and if you simply you know go through this you start seeing the visual style that they're going for and you can also see the concepting of how things would look like and there's also a full concept you know idea here that has to do with the symmetry the you know the cafe scene and also the breakup scene and of course if you want to check out all of these things you can go over to the cloud where you can take a look at the animation test the bloopers and also the entire character development all the way down to the set design so you can check all these things out i'm also going to put a link in the description so this is one extra project that the guys at blender foundation is doing which is going to be making the number of projects that they're doing this year increase so previously we did talk about you know the 2020 big project that they're planning on doing which has to do with the library overrides which was initially supported in blender 2.81 we did talk about that there's also you know the multi-resolution sculpting which kind of deals with the non-destructive sculpting approach that will deal with multiple levels of sculpting and this kind of reminds me of how you get to sculpt when you're working with motion builder as motion builder you have to sculpt in various layers and to each of the layers that you're sculpting you can assign different subdivision levels and i think implementing that in blender 2.83 or maybe any other version that is coming with this might probably make a lot of sense there's also talks about the particle nodes there's also the volume object type i was started seeing a whole lot of things that has to do with volume and liquid and simulation coming from manta and as well there is also a project that has to do with the hair object type and we've started also seeing 
updates that has to do with the hair there is a faster animation playback and this is going to be very interesting to see there is also the scene editing and object mode and one of the cool things which i am very very excited to see that should be coming over to blender very very soon is the fast high poly mesh editing and we already know that when you compare other dcc app alongside with blender and you try to play with the heavy mesh you know blender in most cases might simply fall short i mean following this present version so they are looking forward to you know create something that would look good of course 2.82 came with the alembic export but then they're looking forward to you know creating some very interesting alembic import and at the same time there is also updates that should be coming over to the asset manager and how you can play with so many materials stack them all together and also create some very interesting interesting things so all of these projects all combined alongside with this brand new project that has been added up is very interesting and i cannot wait to see them of course we've seen spring and spring was very successful and i hope this new one which has to do with the coffee run would definitely be successful now let's talk about something else that has to do with coding and this has to do with google summer of codes so google summer of codes is here and it is something i think you guys need to know about so just in case you don't know what the google summer of code is it is an annual event which google kind of organizes and you know bring a whole lot of people together at the same time, this is giving students opportunities just in case you want to become a developer for open source softwares or you want to get, you know, some acquaintance, you will be able to find a couple of opportunities around this. And for you to be enrolled into this year, Google Summer of Code, there are certain eligibility criteria that you need to fulfill. So the first one is you need to be 18 years and above and you need to be enrolled into an institution. So it doesn't matter if it's a university, a college, if you're doing a postgraduate or a graduate program. You need to make sure that you're enrolled into one of the universities that is being recognized by Google. You must also be eligible to work in the country and at the same time you must be from a country that is not under the embargo of the United States. So if your country is part of those countries that was you know recently banned from coming or leaving the United States then probably this year's Google Summer of Code is not for you now still keeping that in mind how this works is pretty pretty simple there is already a full timeline on how things are going to work so i'm going to put all this in the description so you can check that out and if you're also wondering about organizations and projects that was done in 2019 here is a full list of all of the organizations that attended and as well you can see all of the projects that they worked on so within the time which you're going to be working with a given company or given institution or a given organization you need to create certain projects research or programs that would be open source so if you get these things up and running they would also be published here now let's take a look at some companies that have already registered so companies that were supposed to register are expected to have registered by this time as their deadline is 5th of February. So one of the cool things here is that Blender is also part of the companies that have also fulfilled all of the criteria, and you can go through and see some of these companies and probably find the one that best suits what you're looking for. So you can see that directly here, we have Debian, we have Drupal, already we've seen Blender on top, of course, we saw Blender right here. And you also start noticing that there is way more open source companies than you probably even know about. So down here, you would also see that we have Kodi, which is an entertainment hub, an entertainment platform, you know, for both Windows and also Android. And at the same time, if you scroll all the way down, you get to see a whole lot of open source stuff. So things like the model, which is a very, very interesting educational tool. And you can also see that we have open robotics. We have the open HMD and you can go through all of these things and see some very interesting things. So if you're interested in programming, if you're interested in open source and you want to try these things out, I would really, really suggest that you apply as far as you fulfill all of the criteria that is required and your country is the part of the countries that are banned right now from the united states moving over to something else so you guys know how we've already talked about a whole lot of features coming over to blender 2.83 and we've also talked about all of the cool features that is available for blender 2.82 yes so there is also a very tiny update to blender 2.83 now you can see that within the physics side of things that there is now an optimization for self collision improving the overall cloth simulation performance 
by 15 to 20 percent in test now these are very little things that are coming over to the brand new version of blender which is the blender 2.83 and we also see that there is a section here which is said to be fluid but you know i just kind of feel like there is going to be an update coming to the fluid side of things that has to do with blender 2.83 and there is also some very significant improvement towards the grease pencil so just in case you want to also check this one out there is a significant improvement coming over to the grease pencil probably we're going to make a full video about this one right now we're just you know giving out the gist about it and also when you go ahead and check out the ev there is also a new high quality normal option that has been added to the render settings to avoid low resolution normals when you're doing you know your renders with dense model at the same time they've also gone ahead to work on the sun shadow bias which would definitely make the lighting look way better and of course they've already scheduled these for release within a given time of the year which is actually stated to be may the 14th of 2020 so i think they have a lot of things going on for them right now so i don't really see the rush for the release of blender 2.83 but of course may is not anything close i mean by i mean if you get to check may doesn't seem to be anything close i think it's still within the second quarter of the year so probably we're going to get a blender 2.84 and maybe a blender 2.85 before the end of the year so these are the news and the updates which i feel like you guys need to know and yeah this is definitely going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section and of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button. And also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.